on this video, I want to show you and take you through the five steps to consciously create, which comes straight out of our um, workbook, our manual for our magnetic mind um, programs. Most of us are stopped in life because of our identity. You see, we have on one side, we have this identity. And this identity is something that we've been reinforcing our whole life. The problem is, is it's normally in a direct sabotage with our desire. Let me explain. If you've had an identity of working class, working class, or if you've got the identity of scarcity, where there's never enough, or if you've got the identity of being lonely. Now, when I say identity, it's not your conscious identity. It's just what you've been living, what you've been experiencing. If so if you had an upbringing like me of, of working class, okay, or being in a working class, and you desire to be able to have money without working, well, what's going to happen is your identity is going to sabotage it. So it will allow you to go for it, but if you're to have it, your identity has to die. So what happens constantly is people move out of their identity to what they desire. They move out of their desire back to their identity, and they're in this cycle, they're in this loop constantly. And that's because instead of scarcity, they want abundance. And instead of working class, they want passive income. And instead of feeling lonely, they want love. But they've spent their whole life reinforcing this. That is why we must recode. It is why we must let go. So here are the five steps to consciously create your desire. And I'm going to go straight through these right now uh, for you. These are the exact steps that I use to create a multiple million dollar income, to travel the world, to get featured in a movie with Tony Robbins, the Dalai Lama, do some cool things. And it's predictable. It comes from three really, really, really amazing mentors of mine. The first one is an alchemist. He teaches people the secrets of alchemy, takes them out into the wilderness and shows them how to actually create and what to do by turning themselves into the gold. I also studied directly under some leaders in neuroscience and epigenetics, teaching me that you can change, that you actually can change. And then the person who changed my life the most out of everyone on the planet, really. I mean, other than my wife is is Colette, who who explained to me that you can, you know, retrain your brain. And and after, you know, twenty years in psychotherapy, she knew what she was talking about and showed me this amazing process to connect with the superconscious to make the change. So let's go through the five steps in detail so that you can understand how to consciously create. I want you to remember that yes, gravity works, but so does lift. So yes, hard work or work, or doing something is needed, but there's also other things that are faster. You know, for example, if you want to grow a forest, you still have to plant the seeds, right? But if you plant the wrong seeds, you're going to get the wrong trees and get the wrong outcome. And the great thing about being human is we get to change the energetic environment around who we are and what we're attracting. So the first thing that we must do is we must choose. So let me just bring this over here. We must choose. We must choose what it is that we want to create. And I always say we must choose what we love. See, a lot of us aren't choosing what we love. A lot of us are just choosing to not be lonely. Or we're just choosing to have something because of a circumstance we don't like. And that is where we get things wrong. See, when you choose out of a place of lack, when you choose out of necessity or requirement, What's happening is that requirement has to always, always be there. So a lot of work when I work with people is helping to find a true choice, something that they just want because they love it with nothing else. Here's how you know you have a true choice. You just want it just because there's no other reason. You just choose it. Okay. When we choose it, what we do is we want to step into the feeling, the feeling of the end result. Okay. So this is step one, is to, is to choose. And so every time you manifest, the first thing you must do is you must step in and experience it already done. Now, this is where a lot of the law of attraction kind of get it wrong. They say that's all you've got to do. It's just not true. I studied billionaires, and I didn't see a single billionaire just choosing and feeling it and waiting for it to show up. Sure, they had big dreams. They definitely lived in the future. 
They were always in the future. They always were there. And in one thing, write this down. You must believe in a future without any proof. They all believed in a future. They were all there. But then they still did this next thing, okay? Same with every artist. Everyone does this next thing when they actually are in the real world, not just in some made-up Hocus Pocus book that is just saying, yeah, choose and wait for it to show up. Here's the next step. So this is step one, is to choose. Step two is to create structural tension. This blew me away. See, in the universe, tension seeks resolution. So if I pull back a, a bow uh, on the arrow, I pull it back, I have the arrow, I let go, it's going to seek resolution and move forward. If I put a, uh, a block of concrete in, uh, in a running river, the, the water is going to push up against it, seek the path of least resistance and go around it. We always seek resolution. We seek the path of least resistance. So what happens is we must understand structural tension. See, you must realize that there is action to take. But until you know what you want, choose, and how it would feel, and then go, well, what's it like now? So what you do to create structural tension is you step into the current reality. The CR, okay? So when we create structural tension, we have this end result here that we would like, and then we have a current result, current reality here. And that's structural tension. I'd like to be there, but I'm here. That sets the tension up. This allows your brain to go, well, I'm here, I want to be there. And then you stay in this, and this is what releases to what you want. A lot of people don't do this. They don't set it up. They just go, this is what I want, and there's no tension in it. There's no, there's nothing pulling them there. This is how you create the magnetic mind. So that's step two, okay? The, the third step, okay, step three, I hope you can still see this. Step three, okay, is you must, you must live in the emotion of the end result. You must live in the emotion of the end result. So every single day, we teach you a 15-minute magnetization process to get you into the end result consistently because you cannot plant seeds of scarcity and grow an abundance tree, okay? You just, you just can't. So you need to get into abundance every day. Now, nerve cells that wire together fire together. And so if you keep on firing new connections, they will wire together and they will change your biochemistry. It is so exciting. When I started learning and listening to Joe Dispenza and Bruce Lipton that you could change and you could recode, I learned about epigenetics and realized that if I keep thinking the same thoughts, I'll keep feeling the same way and I'll keep doing the same things. But if every single day I start thinking different and I start feeling different, suddenly I'll start doing different. But it's not just a do it once, turn up to one weekend and you're done. You must get into it every day. You must step in and live from it. Any moment of every time, you're either recreating your past or you are creating your future. And that is why every day we have over 40 odd different meditations that 15 minutes each. You step into that emotion, the end result, you be there, you live from there, you set your day up right. So then when you move forward, you're moving forward from that right place. Now, the next step is where things get interesting. So right now, you must understand that you must unplug and recode. See, this is where I think that some of them stop. They don't do the real unplugging and recoding. You saw that amazing demonstration, okay? Well, what if I told you there was another 13 processes just as good as that one that help you to unplug in seconds and recode who you are? So you step into the end result, okay? You step into it every single morning, and then you ask yourself, well, what is it that I've got to do? What have I got to do today? And, and on the next video, I'm going to help you to do this. What is it that I've got to do today? And then something comes up, says, oh, you got to do this. And then you go, I don't want to make cold calls. I don't want to do that. Or, and you have resistance. See, we have resistance. And the resistance, that there, that is what we must. Because you just stay in the end result and you're back here. There's tension, okay? The structure won't move if there's a resisting force in the middle. And this happens a lot. 
The resistance isn't you. You gotta get this. You're not healing the resistance. You're not fixing yourself. You're letting it go. You're gonna show you, and I'll show you. Connect to your superconscious in the next video. Connect to your superconscious. Understand what it's there, what it's all about. Let it go, and then, and then the last step is we take aligned action. We take action on the line. We take action on the line. We always ask ourselves this question, which is, what would the person I am becoming do now? Now, when I started teaching this, no one knew about me. And then, you know, I started releasing the books and, you know, traveling the world and speaking. And, and all of a sudden, 130,000 people were at my courses. Three best-selling books, you know, trained by the best in the world. And so, to me, this is something that is absolutely important. And I guess it's been my life struggle to figure out how do you create. So, this is it. Step one, choose what you love. What would you love to have? Just for no other reason, because you'd love to have lots of money. You'd love to have a nice car. You'd love to have a great relationship. You'd love to start a charity. You'd love to have more energy. You'd love, you'd love, you'd love, you'd love to have a healthy body. You'd love that. Just choose it. Then step two, create the tension. Well, where am I now compared to that? Step three, every day you live from the emotion, the end result. Live from it, live from it, live from it, live from it. And ask yourself, well, what's in the way? What's in the way? And then all I do is we recode that. We do that process. We tune into the superconscious. We allow ourselves to be there, go there, and drop in, and then let it out. And then we act. This is through me to you with so much love. Uh, when I sat down, I met a self-made billionaire about four and a half years ago, and he just looked at me straight. He goes, Chris, you have to teach this. He goes, you have to teach this. This is exactly what I did. He said, exactly. He said, everything is vibration and frequency. Everything is manifestation. But people keep trying to fix themselves. And the problem, if you keep trying to fix yourself, that becomes your identity. You become and have the identity of someone that's broken and has to fix. And that's just not true. You're totally fine. You're amazing. You just got to choose what you love. Get in structural tension. Where am I now? Get in that emotion every single day. Every day of what I am. I want it. Want it. And then what's stopping me being this person? Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. And then act. And the universe will respond.